Hello, my name is Uma Jem Yildirim. I was born on August 26, 1993, and this is my video tech review of my Mercury headset. Um, here, here's the headset that I'm talking about. Um, I don't know what to say. Really. There's not a lot to say. I mean, it's a very good headset uh, because uh, here's the mic that you talk into. Um, I use this headset to play when I'm playing to to, to talk to other players with my own voice <coughs> in uh, while playing online multiplayer games um, it's, it's very good because it records your voice very good I mean the people I've constantly received positive feedback from other people on the internet and on games saying that my voice sounds very clear you know so they're, in, in terms of how they record your voice they're very good it, it's very clear and the actual, they're very comfortable, you can have them on for hours without your ears hurting and they have this, because that's because of this leather kind of casing they have around the microphone here um, so you know, it's, it's all good uh, it, because this, this thing here is leather, this bit at the top which makes it more comfortable, uh, people's heads vary in size so you have this thing where you can adjust I mean, don't most headphones have this thing right here, where you pull it, wait a minute, like so, see? Like so. Um, yeah, they're, um, they're very good, they're very comfortable. <coughs> uh, you can adjust the mic so that you can have it where you want, so say it's not close enough to your mouth, you want to put it closer to your mouth, you can. Um, as I said, the most important thing for, for a headset, you know, is to make sure that uh, both the sound quality and uh, how it records your own voice is top notch. And this headset achieves that because the sound quality is brilliant. It is just brilliant. And uh, it records your voice very clearly as well, especially if you put the microphone uh, close to your mouth, which is what I do. Now to actually test the actual sound quality. <coughs> um, I'm gonna plug here, here, here. Here's the cable. Here's the cable. Here's the uh, the volume thing, where you adjust the volume, and uh, here's the actual plug bit. This is the pink bit and the green the green bit. Now, I'm gonna uh, show you what what the they sound like. I'm gonna plug them into my computer. the green one into the green ports the pink one into the pink port below the green port on my tower and uh, I'm gonna play some trance music now uh, trance music is a very non mainstream genre of music uh, it's my favorite type of music because uh, I hate modern day uh, well mo modern day mu I mean <sighs> I, I don't know. I just I, modern day music isn't isn't as good as it used. Music isn't as good as it used to be, really. Um, you know, I mean, the the best time for music was the 80s and the 90s. I mean, the 21st century doesn't seem to be doing it right. However, ever since the 90s, constant uh, quality trance music is being produced. Um, trance music isn't very appreciated unfortunately uh, the mass public don't want to have anything to do with it it's never played on the TV never played on the radio that really really makes me angry because it, it's a very it's a very good music very tra trance is very good music I mean trance is like it's the essence of music pretty much it really is because it's all to do with rhythm bass you know things like that I mean the core of the music experience is rhythm because I don't okay I'm going off in a tangent about music but I can't help myself because uh, um, the truth is the reason that people like music so much is because is it's the beat the beat is the most attractive thing and it comes because our the beat our hearts are, are all when f f obviously not dead people but for, for, for alive people our hearts are obviously always beating and that's where the attraction of music comes from from the beat of our heart going in tandem with the beat of the music that that is the that's the like core attraction of music i mean 
that's excluding everything else. So obviously there's lyrics and other stuff and things like that and nostalgia factors and stuff. But the 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 initial attraction of music is is beat and rhythm and trance, trance, trance pays all it, it, the attention to the beat and the rhythm and things like that and puts you in a trance. Hence why it's called trance. Now I'm gonna play what in my what is in my opinion one of the best trance songs of all time. I'm, I'm here is uh, I've got Groove Shark, the online music streamer, uh, up on on my computer. Here's my computer screen. You can see it. And I'm gonna play 1998 by Binary Finery um, through these headsets. And uh, <coughs> I'm gonna put my camera in between the two microphones so you can hear the music playing through the headset. Um, I mean, trance music is most popular in Europe, especially Holland, uh, it's it's also not as popular but fairly popular over across the pond in the USA and uh, it's fairly popular here in the UK. Um, it's quite popular in Japan as well, I mean all, your, your rich developed countries are into trance, uh, obviously, I mean you, they're you know, in, in Central Asia, in the Middle East, in Africa, no one gives a shit. In, no one gives a shit in Central America or South America, you know. Pretty much Europe, North America, and the Far East are into trance. Okay, now, put this between the headsets and play the song. Okay, I'm just going to skip uh, further on ahead later into the song because this is a very long song. I love this bit because of the way it builds up. Okay, that song was uh, 1998 by Binary Finery, in my opinion one of the best trance tracks of all time. Uh, the song is called 1998 because it was about the strange uh, pre-millennium period uh, where, uh, you know, mankind was uh, very dystopic and philosophical because the new millennium was approaching. And that's what that, that, mute, that song is about. Now, uh, that, that song there is like... If you listen to that song and you don't like it, then you don't like trance. It's as simple as that. Um, for those of you that enjoyed listening to that, uh, if you want to listen to the song from beginning to end, uh, look it up. It's 1998 by Binary Finery. 
uh, yeah, as I said,